more dust, I think, than we had in all of 2019. It's too cold to plant corn. That was a good bite, Pete. Guess what else I got you? You gonna run it? Today? <laughs> yeah. Good morning, it is uh, Monday morning. If the sun wasn't out, it'd be quite chilly, but because the sun is shining brightly in the sky and there's not a cloud, it's a beautiful day. So today's job, I believe we're gonna actually start doing some uh, ground preparation for corn. And I don't know if you can see it, but you can see my breath. We've missed the rain or snow or whatever it is that they keep saying that we're gonna get. So I think we're gonna start working some ground on the one farm that uh, we just dripped last fall because we tiled it in the spring about a year ago. And when you tile, you get these massive bumps in the field and the only way to really level them up is to work the whole field with some primary tillage. So we have to cultivate and there's some big stones when you tile. So I'm gonna go into the shop, take the fertilizer spreader off the loader tractor, put the stone fork on, and I'm just gonna go out there and buzz the field quick uh, with the loader tractor to get the big ones out of the way so we don't wreck the cultivator. And then I think either Jessica or Sandy or will cultivate and I'll work around and get some other stuff done around here. Just start getting corn ground prepped, which is kind of exciting. The fertilizer spreader came on a pallet. Uh, so I think what I'm gonna do is actually grab that pallet that came on and then grab another one and we'll stack them too high and then I'll just drop it down onto the pallet and unhook it off the tractor. It's got a pretty good stand system underneath. Uh, you can get kits where you can put wheels on it and kind of dolly it around. There was a, a guy on Twitter, I think Mark Loomis, that uh, did some fabrication on uh, one they have. I think it's a Kuhn spreader, very similar to this one. And they made a nice little frame to set in a stand that you could lift up with the pallet forks and move it around and also did uh, special connections right here for the three-point hitch. So it could be on a wide, not a narrow, because most American stuff, North American, is wide. So yeah, I might do that, but in the meantime, we're just gonna use some pallets, drop it down, we'll unhook it, and go pick some stones. We're in the cultivator, it's a little rough. Uh, there's dust flying. It took a bit to get around the outside of the field. What we usually do is that we have a 45 foot cultivator. We'll go do two passes around the outside of the field. And then the first pass we go on an angle. The problem here is that, because we the way we tiled this farm, it was gonna be hard to go straight up and down uh, when we 
district in the fall so we were on an angle so now we're kind of cutting the other angle and it's kind of it's quite bumpy bumpier than it normally is uh, but everything seems to be working pretty good we'll probably end up having to cultivate this field three times just to level it out because it is fairly rough the ground is 95 percent fit and we're just scratching the top off not trying to get down into some of that we call it sad soil but it's soil that's a little too wet it comes up a little tough but this farm is a completely different farm we would never been able to do this without having field tile and with it being tiled last spring it's just made this farm a completely different farm unbelievable uh, which is nice because it's probably the nicest it's ever worked up and the like 30 plus years we have uh, been running the, the ground here we just uh, our family bought the farm last spring before that we rented it uh, leased it however you want to call it and uh, we couldn't do any real improvements to the farm until we we're able to own it so now that uh, our family owns it uh, we got it tiled and it's a gonna be a really good farm we just got a lot a lot of stones to pick and I think that might be Sandy's job uh, now that she's kind of caught up on the lamb side of things and I think I'll get Jess in the cultivator here after lunch after she's done some school work and I'll do some odd jobs but I figured I'd just give you an update about how it's going and uh, it's rough still bouncing away out here uh, Jessica is just gonna take over for me and I will get some other work done you can see uh, the beast behind me pretty dusty which is good more dust I think than we had in all of 2019 when we're trying to get a crop planted uh, hopefully it's not a sign of things to come they are talking a chance of rain tomorrow but uh, and then good for four days after that but I think we'll end up probably getting if we don't get much rain tomorrow of none or if any or zero if we get zero rain tomorrow uh, then we'll probably have a week of getting ground ready to plant corn I don't think we'll plant corn yet just because I don't like the temperatures but at least we'll have all the ground ready to go I'll stop now because I think I'm probably making you motion sick so Just like that, I'm off the tractor seat. Go to head home, grab a quick bite, and see what other kind of trouble I can get into. Good morning. Another cold day in Ontario. I shouldn't say that. Ontario, and it's just typical. So it's too, in my mind, take this as my own opinion, but it's too cold to plant corn. Uh, we really have to watch soil temperature. Uh, for it to germinate properly and not get into trouble with crazy germination it, sometimes you get twisted corn and it actually wants to grow down and not up because it's warmer the soil is warmer down than it is going up to the sky and then if you get a cold rain the first 48 hours it can really impact uh, the germination and the quality of the stand so with you know inputs being fairly expensive margins really tight uh, we we want to do it once we want to do it right so We've been getting the ground ready and you could see in the start of this video where we worked some ground. I spent all day yesterday picking stones off that farm that uh, we tiled that I was talking about. And I hate picking stones. It's one of the 
reasons why we went to strip till because we don't have to work the ground up we don't pull stones up and we don't have to pick stones we still have to get the odd stone out of the strip till but it's a lot nicer uh, the one farm we are gonna have to work three times so we worked it once we're gonna work it again today uh, and then Sandy I'm hoping we'll go out and pick any other stones that we roll up on it and then uh, I think I would like to get some 28 and chemical out uh, on the ground, but the wind's a little too high for that uh, Today and tomorrow, so we'll just see where that goes. It won't take me long to do it But this morning uh, I'm gonna get our wagons out for fertilizer then Tomorrow I'll probably try to spread some on another farm that we have That needs uh, a boost because hasn't seen uh, manure for a while and uh, Just we're working at getting ground ready for corn and not plant uh, because it just isn't warm enough yet. So patience. Okay, I'm going to, I got uh, two wagons set up like the other day outside for some dry fertilizer uh, to spread on some corn ground that I'm getting ready. I did have the tra loader tractor backed up to the fertilizer spreader, but I'm gonna go grab some liquid fertilizer right now, uh, starter fertilizer with the loader tractor while it's unhooked yet. And then uh, we'll go from there. Just working on the second pass now. Got around the outside for Jess there and she's just taking off now and we're pulling out more stones and trying to get this farm leveled up. They said I don't like doing working the ground anymore than we have to but we got to get this field in shape and once we do we're able to no-till and strip till into it and it'll be good after that so in the meantime I think I'm going to go grab the loader tractor and pick some stones again been all day as I said yesterday doing that and probably will be here for the bulk of the rest of the day today too so grab the loader tractor. I was a good bite Pete. Guess what else I got you? I got you calamine lotion. Calamine lotion. Sure? Yep. I always had a rule where the boss should never pick stones because I never stop picking. I just keep picking every little stone I see and nothing gets done. <laughs> so uh, I passed the job off to Sandy. After doing it for a long time yesterday, I'll be honest, I'm getting a bad attitude and uh, figured I'm not going to pick stones very well if I have a bad attitude. So Sandy's willing to take over, so she's doing that for me. I'm gonna go cultivate a little bit of ground that we haven't worked yet. That uh, it'd be nice to get opened up and get the stones picked off it too. So just uh, picking a picking away. No pun intended. <laughs> Bad dad joke. Well, got the cultivating done that I was gonna do. It's just not much. It was only 30 acres. Sandy's got the stones picked right in behind me, and we're just uh, parked for the night. And we'll see what tomorrow brings. Might be spreading some fertilizer and using the joker on some bean stubble to work it in. And I don't know, just kind of pick away at getting field work done or, or get fields ready for corn. And just hope that the weather warms up here in the next little bit. Good morning. It's Friday, I think. I've kind of lost all track of time with this whole stay at home that's going on and having everyone around all the time as someone said on Twitter you wake up feeling like it's a Monday and by supper time it feels like a Friday but today is Friday so another cool day here on the farm and the two-week forecast looks cool just not warming up starting to get a little concerning uh, in terms of heat unit accumulations or growing degree days. I guess temperatures to monitor crop growth and production. So stuff hasn't really grown much in the last week and a half with the cool temperatures. And they're taking the rain of the forecast. So they actually, the 14 day forecast looks cool, cooler than average and then dry. So uh, 
I'm not sure if I'm gonna maybe try to plant corn tomorrow, just one field to make sure everything works. I don't know. I, I really want to. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Uh, but today's job anyways is to get this fertilizer spread that I got uh, delivered yesterday. So we gotta hook up the spreader to the loader tractor again and get that job done. I got my spraying chart all figured out. I'm just gonna go into the computer here and uh, put the settings in and look at a few other settings to see if I can get the auto swath stuff to work on the uh, fertilizer spreader. Um, as I said, not critical, but it would be nice if I could get it to work. The field I'm in today actually is pretty rectangular, so we shouldn't have a whole lot of overlap, but I actually ordered a little bit more fertilizer this time to compensate for that overlap so we should have enough to get this field done today yeah we'll just pick away at it i should have it done by lunchtime but unlikely things never go smoothly so i'm gonna work on getting these settings in and then we'll go to the field and start spreading got the first load spread got about 30 acres done with uh, about 6200 pounds which is right considering i got about 500 left over Gonna fill it up again and uh, probably gonna have to fill it this time and one more. So three loads should get that field done. All done off to the field again okay we're just in the field here spreading and ground conditions are pretty good there's a few soft spots in this field and it's not systematically tiled uh, so it's taking a little bit longer to dry it out but it's still in pretty good shape last year we were supposed to plant corn here but because of the way the year went uh, 2019 uh, we never got corn planted in here so we actually planted the second year of soybeans so uh, we do want to get corn in here looks like this year uh, with the drier conditions even though it's cold uh, we'll have that opportunity so we're just kind of to set topping up the nutrition in this field for the crop of corn and uh, it's kind of just going back and forth the dust is flying uh, both from the fertilizer and from the tractor and uh, I don't know if we'll work this in today with the joker uh, the ground conditions might just be a little tacky yet, but uh, we'll see maybe tomorrow. Bit of a change of plans today. We decided that the wind wasn't that bad and that we didn't really want to work ground quite yet today. Maybe give another day to dry out. It's not very sunny, so showing Jess how the sprayer works. Yep. Yep. You gonna run it? Today? <laughs> yeah. Sure. <laughs> yeah. No, we'll get her trained up on the sprayer. I'm not gonna let her do it today. Never read it. Uh, but we're just sprayer. putting down some fertilizer, liquid nitrogen to hang on. It's gonna be a bump. Oh, oh yeah, right. that was a big one. What was that? Uh, a tower run. We saw a few tower runs that didn't get worked up quite well yet. So, um, yeah. So we're just cruising across here, putting some chemical down and some 28 for the corn and we're gonna get it worked in tomorrow and we might plant corn might not i keep saying that it's like a broken record but uh yeah so i'm gonna to try to spray off 
a couple hundred acres here this afternoon if I can. And Jess is going to have to go off and milk cows at some point. Yep, that was it. And we're just about done here, so I got to turn. So see ya. Well, just got 300 acres of corn ground sprayed with uh, some 28% uh, nitrogen and uh, Integrity, which is a product that will keep the corn clean for a little bit before we have to go in and clean it up after it's maybe four or five leaves high. So half the corn ground is ready to go with chemical and fertilizer. We just got to take the cultivator out tomorrow, work that in on those uh, two fields that we worked and then we'll probably joker the other field maybe Sunday and I think I am going to hook the tractor back up to the planter and we'll see what kind of mayhem we can get into and maybe plant 90 acres tomorrow we'll see but for right now I'm tired I'm gonna have some supper might go to bed <laughs>